Good day, comic fam. Comics of the Voice here. Well, I folded like a cheap suit. I was supposed to wait until uh, Anachronic Comics Expresso Mail Call next Friday, or now coming up this Friday because it's Sunday. So you're seeing this in the past, but I'm not going to post this video until the future after Joe's show. But I caved. I couldn't wait. I had to open the package of the companion book for this. So I'm going to show you everything that I got in the package. Even though you're going to see it already on the Friday night and I'll probably post it on the Saturday. So you're seeing this twice, but this is the first time I filmed it. So I don't know. It's in the future, but the past. Stay tuned. <laughs> G'day comic fam, The Voice here. So I was in an auction on my comic shop because I've, one of my goals that I've been working at, it's it's a kind of a long-term goal. I didn't post it in my five goals for this year because I want to have that somewhat separate because this is just like an ongoing thing forever. I have the full run of Mad. I've got all the comic books, but what I want to do now I want to have the 23 comic books, at least to start with, and I'll probably keep going. Uh, I want them all graded, and I want them graded by CBCS and in around the same numbers because that's how my makes nice brain, happy brain. My OCD is very, very happy when things like that happen. So there was an auction, CBCS, Mad number three, in a 3.5 so I already have number one in a 2.5 and it's been signed by Harvey Kurtzman so it's got that beautiful yellow label and I have number four also signed by Harvey Kurtzman also in that beautiful yellow label and a 3.5 so this is number three I've yet to find one signed maybe that's another rabbit hole but that's two books out of 23 that are signed so that means I got another 21 books to find signed from the 50s Weirder things have happened. I never even thought I'd own these books, let alone start getting slabbed versions of them. So I won the auction and I had it bundled up with a bunch of other books, right? Because again, I'm up here in Canaan and Anadada, north of the wall, the White Walkers. Um, and it's cheaper if I get a bundle of books and send, up, send them up because I think it was 20, $29 Canadian, or no, that's US. So it's like 30 something dollars. Canadian to have like a, the bundle shipped up here, which is awesome because then I break it down per book and I was like 17 books or something I left the paper way over there. That's why I keep looking at it because it's right there It's right there, but I'm not gonna go through the money. I'm not gonna go through the numbers and stuff so I thought these two Would look just fantastic together up on the wall You know because it's not about the labels. I like the old CBCS labels they are very plain because this is the is the star of the show so I have all these books raw and now I'm gonna work my way through the 23 and have them all up on the wall graded so I'm very happy it's gonna look awesome when it's up there and another thing I've been doing too is since I have the cards and I've been going through the cards I got the cards so I've been putting the cards with the book because I thought that was kind of a, a neat little thing and I got the wrong one for this. That's not the right card. So I got to go find the, the correct card for this guy. I probably left that up on the wall. Yes, I did. Oh, well, that's okay. So that's those ones. So very happy to have number three. So now the next one I'll be hunting because I'm trying to go in order. I'll be looking for a number two in a CBCS, roughly in the same grade. Like I said, number one, I got it in a 2.5, so then it jumps. I got three five, three fives. It'd be cool to have all of them in three fives. That would be neat just to see the, the consistency. Yep, so that's my MAD number four, signed by Harvey Kurtzman on the first page. And again, this is the book that saved MAD from destruction. So while I was perusing on the good old uh, My Comic Shop site, you know, I had my 
my cart full of all of these other books while the auction was going on for like six, seven days or whatever for that uh, mad. I was looking through and I, I'm always looking to get upgrades, right? Because I've got a whole run, but some of my books are in really terrible shape. So I saw this one on here. This is mad number 86. Yes, look at that. I was right on the money. So number 86. So this one here is a significant mad book because it's got the first fold in ever in the back of this one. So the issue before 85 didn't have the fold in and then from here moving forward had the fold in. So my copy is a piece of crap. So this one is much nicer. It's still, I think it was listed as very good or something, but I mean, it's really nice. So that's great. And then this stack. So some of these books in here are just ones that I have my main LCS. I got my side LCS. I got my side, side, side. Sometimes certain books don't come in and I miss out. So I have to go hunting. And thankfully my comic shop is always there. It's great. Good old Texas. And the first couple of ones that I was after since I, again, I was on this uh, show the other night uh, with Evil Mike. And we were running through the Dark Tower series. So we started off with the Gunslinger book. And there were, what at the time, I four seven books that I didn't have. So now I'm down to four. If there's only four books left, then I'll have the entire run, uh, 19 series, all the Gunslinger books. So Evil Mike's a big Stephen King fan, so he put together a quartet, if you will, so it's a group of us. There are six in the group, I think, something like that. It keeps changing. Um, right now, last, uh, or on the Saturday night when we did the first, first run, we had five of us on the panel and four of us had read the book before and one hadn't. So that was cool. Phil, Phil Tastic. So Phil Tastic is on with us. Nauman, uh, we got Norrin Rad, uh, Mike and myself so far. So a bunch of us were what, uh, evil Mike calls constant readers. So, you know, some of us have read that book a gazillion times like me, I've read it a gazillion times over the years. And Phil was a first time reader, which is awesome. I envy you, Phil, because you get to discover this whole book. So we were like a little bit peppering him with questions. It was pretty late at night and we ran for four hours. So hopefully the next one will kind of break it down a little bit more. So in the uh, whole series, after they were completed, it, um, Stephen King wanted to do like a prequel and want to talk about all the little filler stuff. So he went to Marvel, got this creative team together, and they did all these Marvel books of the Gunslinger. So this is one of the ones that goes with the Gunslinger. It's The Journey Begins. So I was missing one and two. So I grabbed up those books. So that's number one and number two of that. So now I'm down to four bucks left. Also, I'm a bit of a G.I. Joe fan. You might see one or two, yeah. G.I. Joe books up there and I never did the run the IDW yes I'm ashamed to admit I did not collect the IDW run when Larry Hama was doing it from uh, the original series of G.I. Joe ran in 82 up to like 90 something and it ran 155 issues and then it stopped um, when IDW picked it up because it had bounced around a few different uh, companies image had it for a while um, then IDW picked it up, but when IDW picked it up, they had Larry Hama come back on and he picked up the numbering from where he left off in the original series. So it was 155 and a half or something to kind of tie the story. And then he did 156 up to this one here, which is number 300. And then now this was the last issue in IDW for, uh, the GI Joe series 300. And now it's gone back to image and Larry Hama is still on it. So they carried on the numbers again. So now in image it's 301 and it's going to maybe go another 155 issues. I don't know. So now I'm back on the train, but I decided to go back. Some of the books are pricey, but you know what? I'm a GI Joe fan. Larry Hama, the OG man did the book. So there's a new rabbit hole for me. So now I've got this one. So I got 154 and a half issues to find 155. Yeah. So I got 300. So looking forward to reading that one to see how that ties into 
the new one. I know I'm kind of going backwards with it, but maybe I'll find a package deal. Maybe somebody out there has got the whole run and they just don't want it anymore. And they say, hey, do you want the run? Yes, I do. Um, I got a couple other back issues and then the rest here are all, these are all brand new, brand new books. So there's that. Um, this one here, I was looking for this for a little while. I found, I, you know, I got a good deal. I mean, it's cheap. It's um, uh, DC Comic Presents number 52. What's the significance of this book? It is the first appearance of Ambush Bug. Weird, messed up character, I know. Well, I've got the Ambush Bug stuff, so I figured let's get his first appearance. It was cheap, so great. My guilty pleasures. I love these books. I'm starting to run down, actually. I don't have that many left to get the whole run of this. It was like 50, 56 issues. Gold Key did part of it, and then it switched over to Whitman. So this one's number 35. It says VG, but damn, this cover is, is sweet. When a man is murdered, his spirit seeks vengeance. So I know Dope, Dope Comics, he loves this kind of stuff. The, you know, Bronze Age horror and going back. I mean, he's got a killer collection. Like Dope, whatever you're doing, brother. Yeah, keep doing it because your books are phenomenal. I love his channel. The guy's got more freaking energy than I've ever seen. And he just comes blah, right in your face. Okay, so the rest of these are all new books that I missed out from my LCS. And then my side LCS didn't have it. So this one here is called The Ministry of Compliance. A bloody sci-fi epic screen rant. I have no idea what it's about. It looked like it was an interesting book, so I grabbed it up. Here's another book that I've been reading that I've been enjoying called Damn Them All. And you hear Bueller when he's talking about this. It's not just damning some of them. Damning them all. Every last one of them. Good series. And then we've got The Devil That Wears My Face. This one's been intriguing. I don't know if they're going to... I imagine they're going to continue. This one's uh, issue number three. It's uh, Mad Cave Comics. It's basically this priest that was trying to do an exorcism on a guy who was possessed by this devil. And then the devil took his body and then put him in the, the crazy one that's imprisoned. And now the devil's free in the priest's body to run around and do all kinds of chaos and fun stuff. Uh, this is an, an enjoyable one called Midlife. It's, again, I missed this one. Number four, I think I skipped over. I got number five. Um, it's a guy, basically a firefighter, who's got a superpower. He's fireproof, so that's handy. Can't burn him, but he didn't discover this until he's in his midlife. Thus, the clever title. Another good one I've been enjoying is Antarctica, and somehow I missed this issue. I had number four, and then one day I'm at the LCS, and number six is out, and I started reading number six, and I'm going, wait the story doesn't make sense so then I went back and see it's a good thing I take pictures of all my books bleep blop bloop put them into my uh, Excel file and also have photos of them and that's usually what I do I'll go right into the photos and see if I've got the book in there and I'll be like oh what do you know it's missing so then I'll go double check in my downstairs comic book room and go through the files so I got the filing cabinets and stuff very organized Sometimes it gets screwed up because I'll go down there and I've misfiled stuff and I don't know if I had a brain fart or some kind of ghost or something went down and changed and moved my books around. Sometimes it's absolutely maddening. Jed McKay, my Canadian brother, another fellow White Walker from out east in the Nova Scotia in Newfoundland over there on the other side there, boys. That's my imitation of the Newfies. They don't have time for any tomfoolery, so when they talk, it's all one big long sentence, so you have to really pay attention when they're talking. I'll tell you where you too. Hey there, boy. I tell you, Lord Jesus. The Avengers. Good series. Like Jed McKay, man. Phenomenal writer. I met him once. I hope I can meet him again, man, because I got to talk to him because the stuff that he does, the, the stories, what he did on Moon Knight brother keep doing what you're doing it's fantastic see the white walkers you know 
up here north of the wall. It's cold. Actually, it hasn't been, though. Like, you guys down in America, you guys have been getting more shit weather than we have. Our weather's been phenomenal. Like, I'm still driving the Challenger around. It's fantastic. It's beautiful weather out there. I actually was out there washing it yesterday. Don't tell anybody. And the last one, I just, you know, 80s boy. You know, enough said. Love me some Transformers as a as a kid, teenager. Come home from school every day. G.I. Joe, Transformers, Thundercats. That was my trifecta of TV shows. So when this came back, an image, you know, when I went in the store, I just got the A covers, but then I saw this one. I was like, okay, you know, again, I folded like a cheap suit. So I folded to open all this stuff up because I couldn't just let it sit there for a whole week. And yeah, I'm, no, I'm wearing a different shirt because it is a different day. I did open it the day that I posted that video. I was wearing the Thundercat shirt and I told you if you saw me wearing the Thundercat shirt, I folded. Well, I did fold, but I just didn't video it. So I've taped it several days later after I've been. <sighs> yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Look at that. They just. Oh, God, they look so good together. 3.5. My OCD. My OCD is so happy. It's so happy. Yep. Good brain. Good brain, OCD. Yep, I'm gonna put this up on the wall, find the correct card to go with it. Oh, wait a minute, I did have the correct card. See, I just had them reverse. That's okay. Let's see, it's again north of the wall, the Canadian thing. So I've got that card for this one, and then uh, the card for number four, which I've been showing on my shorts. I've gone through the entire first series, which has yellow backs. The second series has got green back, so stay tuned for that one. So yeah, that's the oh, Jesus glare, glare. God, Lord Jesus, I tell you. So there you go. So that is my unboxing from my comic shop and showing an old book. And again, you're going to see this in the past, but the future after Joe's show on Sun the Friday. That's going to be the Friday, which was last night, which hasn't happened yet. It's in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, okay, sure, I'll see you on the next one. So stay tuned, take care.